What is up you guys? I'm Galen Larice if you're new here and welcome back to another full body flexibility stretch routine here on my channel. Today's routine is going to give you some deep stretches in your hips, your legs, and back to help you improve your posture and feel more range overall in your body. The goal is to reset your body by helping you feel more loose and releasing some of the stress your muscles have taken on from your week. Before starting, I'm giving my muscles a little massage roll with my motion prep massage ball set so that my muscles are nice and relaxed before trying to stretch them out. Motion Prep is my brand that I have created for stretch lovers like myself and is a huge part of what helps me continue to make these videos on my channel. So to you guys who have purchased your own, thank you so much. Down below, I'll have them linked in case you want to grab yourself a set, and I've also linked a Spotify playlist to go with this stretch routine in case you'd rather listen to their voices instead of mine. If you're ready to get loose, then hit that thumbs up button down below, and let's begin. In this routine, we will do all of the stretches on one side, and then repeat the entire sequence on the other. Whichever side you start with is totally up to you, so do whatever feels right for your body right now. First, let's start on our backs with a simple knee hug. Really think about elongating your spine on the floor, relaxing in your rib cage on your exhales, and folding in your hips. We're going to do some stretches in this routine to stretch those hip flexors out later, but we definitely want to warm them up first. Let's stay here for 30 seconds. Ready, set, go. Now that we're a bit warm, let's fully extend our flexed heels to the ceiling for a more activated stretch. Take a look at your knees. Are they bent? Keep them as straight as possible by pushing energy down the back of your leg, out through your heel, and engage your quads and your thighs to hold those knees straight. If you're having trouble keeping them straight, that means that your hamstrings are tight and your quads are weak. I have two full videos on how to maintain straight legs if you dance or do gymnastics or something like that. So I will have that linked up top for you guys and down below in case you wanna check that video out as well. For now, let's just stay here for 30 seconds and really think about flexing those feet. Ready, set, go. Now that we've stretched the legs, let's move into the lower back. Fold your knees and then let them gently fall to one side as you keep your back on the floor. And like I said, doesn't matter which side you start with first. Keep it gentle and really focus on relaxing on your exhales so that you sink further into the stretch. The goal is to keep your shoulders on the floor so that the twist is only happening in your lower spine. But if you have some difficulty keeping your shoulders on the floor, take your time and just simply breathe. If you have a short torso like I do, try opening up your folded position a bit so that you have a little bit more space in your midsection and can have some room for your spine to stretch. Let's stay here for 30 seconds. Ready, set, go.
good. Now simply extend your bottom leg so that you are in a full supine twist. Really think about relaxing your top thigh while engaging your straight bottom leg so that it reaches long away in front of you. You should feel a twisting and a lengthening happen in the lumbar or lower region of your spine at the same time. Tight muscles around this area can lead to lower back pain and cause stiffness from the muscle's inability to use its full range of motion, so we really want to stretch these out. For an extra stretch in my upper back, I like to rest my hands behind my head, but feel free to relax yours wherever is comfortable. Let's stay here for 30 seconds, and don't forget to breathe. Ready, set, go. going to go into a reaching back leg pull to stretch out your quads and your hip flexors a bit more. Start by reaching diagonally across your body with the same arm as your extended leg while reaching the opposite arm back to pull your foot into your bottom behind you. Tight hip flexors can also make it harder for your glutes to activate. So for those of you who like to work out, if you aren't seeing results from your glute exercises, tight hip flexors could be the culprit. So let's stretch these out a bit for 30 seconds. Ready, set, go. Nice, you guys. Now we're gonna crank it up a notch. You can either remain in the reaching back leg pull for another 30 seconds, or you can sit up on your elbows to pull your back into a full arch behind you. In this position, you should constantly feel energy in your leg as it pulls your upper body into an arch, giving a nice expansive stretch across your pecs in your chest. Ever since I stopped taking ballet classes consistently, I've found that these muscles have become pretty tight and have affected my posture over time. So let's take 30 seconds here to really open up your chest a bit. Don't forget to press down in those shoulders and breathe. Ready, set, go. you guys now come down slowly and let's go into a simple child's pose to stretch out our upper backs in the opposite direction I like to reach through my fingers here to get an even deeper stretch but do whatever feels right for you let's stay here for 30 seconds ready set go For the last stretch on this side, we're going to stretch out the lower back with a rounded child's pose. For this stretch, start by grabbing behind one heel while reaching your other arm out long in front of you. 
Then pull your belly button to your backbone by going into a contraction in your pelvis and pull your lower spine up to the ceiling. You should feel the stretch across your shoulders, and if you sit in one hip, like I like to, then you should also feel it in your lower back as well. But you've got to maintain that engaged contraction the entire time. Let's do one side and then the other side, both for 30 seconds each. Ready? Set. Go. side, switching your arms, and pulling up in your lower spine. Go. hard to find but if you found it I know you felt it <laughs> now it's time to do the stretch routine on your other side starting with the folded supine twist you will see the sequence of stretches pop up on the screen as you move through this side and be sure to listen for a to know when to switch to the next position and don't worry I'll pop in every now and then to give you little reminders as you move through the stretches if you have your playlist, feel free to turn it up now so you can really relax. Ready, set, Are you breathing? Really make sure you're relaxing so that you can really relax in your lower spine and get your fullest stretch. Let's finish off these 30 seconds. Make sure your bottom leg is nice and long and don't forget to point that foot so you really feel your energy through the stretch. Don't forget to relax your butt here. You wanna relax all of your muscles in your hips so you really can pull your foot as close as you can into you. Let's finish up these 30 seconds. Remember to do what feels comfortable for your body. And if you are really getting a good stretch, make sure that you don't forget to push down in your shoulders in this stretch. Let's finish up these 30 seconds.
breathe you guys this is probably my favorite stretch because it takes the least amount of effort and i feel it so many places in my back let's finish up these 30 seconds great job you guys now let's finish off with our final stretch a bended hang. While standing with your feet slightly wider than a hips width apart, cross your arms and let your head hang with bended knees. Really let gravity do the work and relax on your exhales as you feel yourself sink deeper into your thighs. This will give you an overall stretch in all of the muscles we used in this routine. Let's stay here for our final 30 seconds. Ready? Set. Go. That is it you guys, you just completed my full body stretch routine. You should feel more loose in your legs, hips, and back after finishing this routine and should feel like you've given your body a nice little reset for the rest of your week. If you want more stretch routines, be sure to subscribe because I have an entire playlist of stretch routines on my channel just like this one. I love seeing you guys doing my stretch routines all over the globe. Y'all are all over the place. So don't forget to tag me in your post at galen.larice on Instagram so I can say what's up. And of course, another big thank you to those of you who support motion prep and have gotten your own massage balls. I'm so grateful for you guys' support and I hope they remind you to keep taking care of your body. I'll see you guys in my next video next weekend. Later.